The White House's grim warning and the Olympics get a new date. This is your daily Radio.com coronavirus update. I'm Linda Lopez. Dire predictions are coming from members of the Trump administration a day after he extended social distancing guidelines to April 30th. Dr. Anthony Fauci, the United States leading infectious disease expert, said he wouldn't be surprised if we saw over 100,000 deaths. The White House's coronavirus response coordinator, Dr. Deborah Birx, had a similarly grim warning. She told the Today Show that even if the country does everything almost perfectly, she predicts there could be up to 200,000 deaths. Meanwhile, in New York City, the virus continues to take its toll. In addition to the hospitals being overwhelmed, the city's 911 system is also being stretched. The New York Times reports dispatchers took more than 7,000 calls last Thursday, a volume which is similar to that of the September 11th attack. To help meet the growing demands, the 1,000-bed Navy hospital ship, the USNS Comfort, docked in Manhattan. In Spain, the death toll and number of people infected continues to grow, causing the nation to implement even more stringent measures to stop the spread of the virus. Until at least April 9th, all non-essential workers were ordered to stay home unless they're going to the nearest grocery store or pharmacy. More than 800 people died of the virus on Monday, bringing the death toll to nearly 74,000. The postponed 2020 Tokyo Olympic Games are now scheduled for July 23rd through August 8th, 2021. The Paralympics will be from August 24th to September 5th. For all the latest on COVID-19, visit radio.com slash coronavirus. I'm Linda Lopez. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell for all notifications from radio.com. While you're at it, why don't you check out some of our other great videos?